Hello again, YTPC, and welcome back to Quotes from a Pipe Smoker. Smoking the Medico Casino today. Little Cat Black Original in there tonight. So today we've got Sir James George Frazier. <clears throat> His quote was a little long. I'm going to go ahead and read it. Maybe. Pardon me one second. All right, we'll go ahead and read it here. Intellectual progress, which reveals itself in the growth of art and science and the spread of more liberal views, cannot be disassociated from industrial or economic progress, and that, in its turn, receives an immense impulse from conquest and empire. It is no mere accident that the most vehement outbursts of activity of, he, of the human mind have followed close on the heels of victory, and that the great conquering races of the world have commonly done most to advance and spread civilization, thus healing in peace the wounds they inflicted in war. Now, <clears throat> as you can see in the beginning there, he died a long time ago, but those words still have relevance today. And again, he was a social anthropologist. and wrote on mythology and religion, things like that, um, more from a historical sense and a, and a theological sense as well. But it came to mind being bombarded with political stuff here lately. Uh, <clears throat> so there's a lot of truth in if you look back through historically that that's correct, but man, oh man. It's one of the things you look back and you say, you know, he's not wrong. Boy, I wish he was. <laughs> you know, it's just like <clears throat> if it has to come at that price, the advancement of civilization has to come at the price of what we get with war. It's not that great of a trade-off, but <clears throat> I think in more ancient times, if 
again more of a consensus. If you look at civilizations today, different countries, and they all tend to have the same problems. They're democratic, but you have different sides to that. You have more like what he's talking about in this quote. They have different ideas of what they want to do, what the, where they want the country to go, and uh, hallmark of democracy is majority rules. And to accept that, you kind of got to think, you know, I'm not always going to be on the, I'm going to be the minority at some point in this, and I have to accept that as I do. A lot of people don't think, or they act like it doesn't work that way. <clears throat> but, I think more and more ancient times, it was more, you know, of a consensus of a different civilization pretty much being across the board, whereas especially in the last 20 years there's just been a huge divide between, jump between these different groups. And I'm not just talking necessarily about the United States, I mean, you know, it's kind of that way everywhere. Uh, it seems like. But, not to bring politics in you, because God Almighty, I don't want to do that. rather sit here and smoke my pipe and argue politics with anybody. So before I get myself in too deep, I'll give you a quote to think on for the week. <clears throat> and I'm going to Sit back and relax and go with this bowl, cat and black. You do the same. Pack something up. Sit back and relax. Kick your feet up. Don't forget. You ain't smoking on the mountain. Make sure you make a mountain smoke. We'll catch you on the next one. Take her easy.